So let's go over tool tips with Bootstrap. So tool tips are quick little hover overs that give you some more information. So we'll just go through these real quick. Tool tip on top, right, bottom, left. This is one with uh, HTML. And this is the same tool tip that with the HTML on a div. So uh, the reason you want to do this is just to convey a little extra information on a button or an element in your page. Uh, so let's go through how you can use this. Uh, we mentioned you can use it pretty much on anything. So we have a button here that we're using it for most, and we have a div down here. We'll go through the important elements to use. So uh, just for position's sake on a resized window, you're going to want to use this container property and set it to body. That's going to help position things within the flow of the document. Uh, there's this toggle property that we have to set to tooltip in order for it to work. Um, we set a placement, otherwise it's going to go off to the right. But in this case, we do top, uh, right, bottom, or left. Um, I'd recommend that you put this delay in, uh, just some sort of delay, because sometimes the tooltip gets stuck and it won't go away. So this delay seems to help uh, resolve those issues where the tooltip just stays around and then maybe gets stuck in a weird position on your page and just won't go away. But in order to set the data, we need to do the we need to set it to the title. So here we see top tooltip, just hover over, we don't have to click or anything. And then we can turn the HTML on to true. And we can add HTML into our title. So that's basically how to use the tooltip. Once again, I, I highly recommend in putting in some sort of delay. 100 millisecond delay seems to help uh, in terms of the uh, uh, tooltip staying around or not going away. Um, if you want to delay even longer, you may want to do that maybe 300, tenths of a, or 300 milliseconds, just so that when your uh, your customer is going around and maybe there's a bunch of tooltips, it's not tooltip, 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 and just constant tooltip as they hover around. You may want to let's show that. Let's do 300 here. Kind of see it has a short delay. So, and we can do even longer. You can even do a second or half a second. Second may be too long. I've done that before, and it seems if you're waiting, if you're intentionally trying to get the tooltip to come up, it may be too long. But uh, 300 seconds is usually about as quickly as a human eye can really tell, uh, uh, kind of see a refresh. So it, we don't really, the human being can't really recognize uh, that short a time in terms of a delay. So it seems like you hover over there, you just get a short, very, very short delay and the tooltip pops up. So uh, longer than that, you're going to see a delay. And if, if you're hovering over and have a bunch of tooltips and you just don't want it to keep popping up everywhere you go, you may want to do longer if, if, if that's the case. Um, and so we have to instantiate all these tooltips, similar to how we do the popover control. We do a query selector on the tooltip property, uh, as denoted here. And we pull that in. We loop through all the elements. And we basically instantiate the element to a bootstrap.tooltip, uh, new it up, and you'll create a, a new, uh, you'll instantiate all the tooltips. So basically, this is for performance reasons. Uh, I guess it, it, it takes too much pro processing to have these on all the time. So whenever you're on a page, uh, you can do this at a higher level. We could have done this. Uh, we have it started here on the controls page. We could have started it here if we wanted to, because once it's loaded on the page, um, we, we can grab it through the query selector and, and create them all, but we're going to do it here on the tooltip component in this particular case. So hope uh, that demystifies some of the stuff about tooltips. Just to remind you, put in some sort of delay. Um, you need a couple of these properties to make it work, and then it'll be working pretty good for you wherever you want to place it. And hope this, uh, this tutorial kind of demystified how to work with the tooltip and you understand a little bit more and if you comments questions concerns below subscribe all that fun uh, uh youtube stuff thanks